guys my name is Hikri and in this video we are going to talk about linear algebra so why should we use linear algebra in a data science right because in a data science we are working with data which is stored in a matrix form right to work with matrix we need to learn linear algebra because linear algebra is a topic or is a field which is available in mathematics by learning this field, learning this field you are able to process any kind of mathematics operations right and as if you don't if you haven't reached uh, watch my video uh, about data science life cycle then you can watch and in this data science life cycle i talk about data processing so basically in the data processing part we are going to work with a data and transform this data into meaningful form so as i told you in this video that we are working with data is stored in matrix form and we are trying to perform such operation on our matrix so at that time we need to learn linear algebra so that's why we are learning linear algebra right now in the further video I'm going to discuss such topic like vector. What is a 1D vector? What is a 2D and what is a 3D vector? In this video, we are also going to talk about row vector. And the second one is a column vector. After learning these two vectors, and also I'm going to tell you that where should we use row vector and uh, column vector. Apart from that vector, I'm also going to talk about equation of line. Right? And why it is so useful. And uh, apart from this, we are going to talk about equation of plane and uh, hyperplane right and also i'm going to tell you that where can we use and we have with the help of this equation of plane or hyperplane what kind of problem we are going to solve so after that let me tell you what how matrix works right suppose how you can identify the matrix like this particular matrix is 2d or a particular a particular array is 3d or a particular array is 4d so to identify that you need to uh, right you need to see top left corner of the array if you see here the three bracket opens that means it's a 3d if the bracket is 2 that means it's 2d if we have an array which is two dimensional that means we can represent that array as a matrix if we have an array which is a three dimensional then we can represent a three dimensional array as a cube if we have a four dimensional to n dimensional so we can represent this array as a hyperplane sorry hypercube hypercube okay and if we have only one value like one two three etc then we are going to tell this value as a scalar and if we have a one dimensional array then we call as a vector so that's all for today thank you for watching in our next video we are going to talk about vector how we can calculate the distance and uh, how we can calculate the distance between two vector how we can calculate the distance between origin to a particular data point so that's all that's it for now thank you for watching